Okay, YouTube, uh, XX Trucking 93 XX here, and uh, here's a look at my four wheeler with the plastics off. I kept the rear on, there's no need to take that off. Just more stuff that I don't need to put back on. Um, let me get off my tripod. Okay, that's what it looks like uh, stripped down. Plastics are over there. Okay, now the carburetor is not the problem, most likely. Either it's bad rings or the valves need to be adjusted, but we're gonna go for the valves. But we thought maybe we'd have to take apart the motor, but a further digging on the websites show that these uh, these right here are uh, uh, valve adjusting covers, so you just take this off and you can adjust them. You don't have to rip apart the block or not, or you don't have to take anything apart, but you just take a, a nut and just take this whole disc off. And this will be your intake valve because this is closest to your intake. And this won't be your exhaust one because this is closest to your exhaust. And you just adjust them. All I need to know is to find those specs on the front and the back. And find out on here what to set it on TDC compression. But once I find TDC compression and find out the valve specs, um, I might just call the dealer and ask them. Um, it will, uh, that's how we adjust it without having to rip apart the head. And if that doesn't help out, because you can lose compression if your valves aren't adjusted. And mine's, mine's starting to read up to 90. But I don't think the rings were neglected in here. I mean, they might not be good as new, but this thing has... I just don't think it was the rings. I think it's the, we think it's the valves. So, just take these off. It's a, it's a single overhead cam, but you get to take these two off and that's it. So, I'm pretty happy that we don't have to rip apart the motor. All you gotta do is just take these off. I might spray some penetrating oil around there so it's easier when we start taking off so nothing snags on there. But give you an overview of what it looks like. Rear plastic still on. I did repaint this. Um, I took the gas tank off. Um, yeah, so that's all we got to do is just take them off. So that's a good tip for anybody that has a single overhead cam motor. That's um, thinking their valves need to be adjusted. Um, let me just get some penetrating oil and show you that it, it is removable because th it just gets dirty after a while. Okay, you can see. Okay. Okay. You can see they're removable. Anyways, I need to penetrate, put penetrating oil so it just comes off a lot easier. But there you go. That's how you do it. So I'm pretty happy now. I found that out last night. Um, we're going to adjust the valves. And if that doesn't make any difference, by readjusting them back to factory uh, specifications, then we're going to put rings in it. And for now, until I find something bigger, I'm just going to keep this one and maybe just keep it and then save up money and buy another one. But maybe my mom ride this one or something. Because, I mean, this is, okay, it's not the biggest CC, but it's really fast for a CC it is. So, thinking that, and the tires, I think they're original, so this has not been rid that much, I'd say. It does need a oil change, I will do that, but for right now, I want to get it running good, so. And just maybe let my mom ride this, or let my niece, when she gets bigger, ride this. Um, I would like to get a Honda Recon. So that's what I'm looking out for, a Honda Recon. Um, so yeah, but this is pretty nice for now. I'm not doing any competitive stuff, so it's just gonna do good. I'm thinking maybe you ju you can find TDC by this cap right here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you can you, if there's a TDC, you can check it from removing this cap. That's what I'm thinking because I cannot think of any other spot on here to find TDC other than this cap, whatever this cap does. Cause I, I'm think that's what I'm thinking. Tell me if anybody knows, that would be it. On on this side, it's just the uh, the 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 belt cover with the transmission breathers right here. Um. So sorry, let me show you. It's just a cover, and there I don't think there's any way to check TDC compression over there. I'm thinking it's. It could be right there. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, see? Actually, no, look. I think this is it. It's now looking. There's two screws. One might be the line up on the flywheel, and one might be on the crank. And you must line them up. 
I don't know. Uh, anybody watching this, let me know what I should do with that. I need to find TDC compression when I do the valves. Um, that's an update. This one. That was my plastic that just fell. Brilliant. More scratches. Oh, see, I really don't care. I'm gonna get that recovered. Okay. But yeah, that's it. Um, I oiled it. I oiled it up really good. Pumped air in the tires. Air. See, there's a patch right there. Both of these tires have patches, but they hold air. Um, but that's it right now. Um, tell me where you think TDC compression is on here, and, uh, and if anybody knows anything about Yamaha Breeze uh, valve intake and you know the valve adjustment specs, let me know. Because I don't have a manual for it. I was supposed to get one, but I didn't have one. And that's supposed to help me, but I don't know if the dealer will tell you because, you know, they're always out to make money, so. Well, let me know and uh, tell me what you think because uh, I will definitely take those calves off. There will be a video with the calves off. I'm not doing that right now. I want my dad to help me with this so we can, like, have, like, a project to do. So just let me know, but that's what I found out. I don't know if he knows that. He said we probably have to lift the motor apart, but looks like he didn't know that they have these on there, so. Um, just let me know what you think. And uh, remember, it's a single overhead cam. So right under, right here behind this cover, going along here is the cam. So you just take these two off. The cam is right here. So it's a, it's a single overhead cam, so just remember that. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Leave comments down below. Tell me what you think. Um, I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Have a good day.